Hello everyone and welcome to Men's Life. Today in this video we are going to discuss about some tricks and strategy on flag check, what to do and what not to do. So do and don'ts of flag check, so let's play. Six. Here dealer at 10, we have 6, is the weakest card. So you may surrender this one or you may just simply uh, sorry simply hit this one so I suggest you to surrender because uh, what we can expect uh, from 6 and dealer is already at a strong card if dealer is at not at 10 it might be 8 or 7 or 6 even 9 then I suggest you to continue this hand with hitting another card but dealer is at 10 and we are at 6 so dealer is at way more good position than us so I suggest you to surrender this kind of bet so don't hesitate to surrender your bets bet down please 13 13 against 6 here yeah, 6 is the weak card for the dealer and 13 is also the weak card for us but let's hope the dealer will burst itself and uh, just stay with that 13 we are not going to burst ourselves we hope the dealer will burst sorry dealer has win bet down please 12 5 against 12 again the same dealer is at a weak point and uh, we are also at a weak point but we don't want to burst ourselves so let hope the dealer will burst itself so stay okay again dealer wins two hand where dealer has a weak card but dealer is winning bet down Both please 16 16 against 10 this is the time to surrender your bets dealer is a 10 it's a good card and we are at weak point so it's time to surrender so whenever there is a chance or, or you you found yourself in a situation that dealer is at a very good point and you are at the weakest possible on the table like 16 then definitely don't hesitate to surrender yourself save at least 50 percent of your bets just surrender bet down please 15 again the same situation dealer is at a very good hand and uh, we are at 15 this is one of the weak hand possible on the table so it's again time to surrender Saving 50% of your bets is also quite good. If you are not winning, then don't lose a big amount. Whenever Bet there is down, a possibility please. to save yourself, save Blackjack, winner, winner, chicken this dinner. Time, it's a blackjack and it's a very nice win. Bet down, please. Nine. Okay, this time it's nine against seven. So 7 is a very good card and 9 is even a good card. At this point of time you may double down. If you want to take extra risk then and you are already in profit then I suggest you to double down. There is two cases for you. One, you, uh, you want to take risk for extra profit or you are already in profit. And whenever you are already in profit, then only you will take extra risk. So if both the situation is uh, satisfying you, then at this point of time, it's a chance to double down and make some extra profit. Because 7 is not the strong card against our 9. So let's hope. I know. And if the best amount is high, then I suggest you just to play normally hit this hand and play if the bats is low then you can take extra risk by double down so just let's hope for a double down 17 okay, 17 and dealer 16 and bust win. so when to double down so bet down please that rule number one you are in profit this is most important Number two, dealer has a weak card. Weak card for the dealer. Comparatively weak than your hand. And third, small bets. 
if the bad amount you are putting is small then you can go for double down at that point of time so let's play another hand blackjack, blackjack. winner winner chicken Very dinner nice. bet down please 17 okay 17 against 5 5 for the dealer 17 for us it's a 17 is a quite enough to beat dealer 5 in normal case but whatever anything can happen dealer might have uh, 6 it will become 11 and then it will hit 10 it will become 21 so what anything can be possible but still at this point of time until now we are at a strong position than the dealer because normally 5 is the best card for the dealer so stay with 17 okay 16 17 and it's a push bet down please 10 10 against 5 this is the time to double down it's a weak card it's a strong card for us we, we expect another 10 or 9 or anything a very good card for us and the dealer is already at a point of time where it will burst itself so this is the perfect time to double down so never miss the 13. opportunity to double down your bets okay 15 14 19 okay we lose here so how to recover the losses that's all bet down last please. time we uh, lose 100 units so another 100 units just deal 17 17 against uh, 10 dealer is at uh, 10 we are at 7 and 17 and uh, though 17 is a very good card but we expect something more to beat dealer 10 so let's hit this one 18 18 this time 8 and 18 let's take another card 21 okay that's nice And we win. So we cover the last loss. Bet down, please. So we will reduce this time. Again, 100 unit. We just increase our bets to cover 15. the losses. That's normal. At this point of time, dealer is a 10. We are at 15. So 15 is a weak card for us. So completely surrender your bets. As I told you again and again, don't hesitate to surrender your bets. Just save at least 50% of your bets. Bet down, please. It's a part of the game to surrender. Don't be so aggressive. 14. Again, the same situation. Dealer is at a good point. Good point. That is 9. We are at 14. Again, I suggest you to surrender. Saving your bets, at least 50% of your bets. Bet down, your please. Bats is also a type of win. You are winning 50%. If I am playing $100 and I will lose, I will lose on totally $100. If I have the weak card, then there is a chance that I will lose all the $100. But if I surrender, then at least I will save 50% of my bets or I will win 50%. I can say it's a win. Whenever you surrender against a dealer, very good card and your card is so weak, then it's a win. It's not a loss. 14. Okay, again the same. Uh, if you have the option to surrender then surrender otherwise just hit and play here the option is to surrender so I am surrendering this bet also 11 it might happen 21 for the team bet down please 15 ok at this point in time dealer has the weak car that's 6 and we are also at weak car but we can stay over here but dealer can't stay over here or dealer can't stay at 16 but we can stay at 16 so I suggest you to stay at 16 and hope the dealer will burst because dealer has to take extra card even it is at 16 but we can stay even at 15 dealer has to take extra card but we are safely we can stay with this 15 so let's hope the dealer will burst itself and stay at 15 okay 21 <laughs> Very nice. Nice win for the dealer. Bet down, please. So, I lose the last win. So, I can increase my bets. I normally not, uh, do not 11. increase the bets in... Uh, sorry. 
this time it's 11 but the dealer is a 10 so what to do anyway uh, I, I will not going to double my bets because I have already doubled my bets so just simply uh, hit another card 12 this time I am at a very uh, 21 21 nice thank you and I win here sometimes you need to be lucky to win at this table okay thanks for watching bet down and, uh, please if you are lucky enough like this last bet then definitely your chances of winning is quite good but another few things I, I want to remind you that whenever there is a opportunity to surrender surrender don't hesitate to surrender and uh, double down this is the two thing which can make you in a profitable position so whenever there is an opportunity to surrender because as uh, opportunity is everywhere to surrender but I tell you dealer is that we uh, at a strong car we are you are at a weak position then uh, go for the surrender don't hesitate save 50% of the bets and another thing is that whenever dealers is weak card and you are at strong and yeah, there is a chance that uh, you are like uh, 8 9 10 or 11 and dealer is at like uh, 5 4 6 then definitely you should go for double down and to maximize your profit so thanks for watching and good luck for your next game and keep watching for more video like this